Modern Charts in the Grow Studio, new feature release overview. Today's lesson is about visualizing data that we have in Lucre Studio. This is part of Lucre Studio Masterclass. In the whole program, we go through different subjects related to Lucre Studio, like planning a report, connecting to a data, transforming it before visualization, visualizing your data, adding interactions to your report, sharing your reports with others publicly, privately, securely, managing your assets in Lucre Studio. And sometimes we go and learn about BigQuery and Lucre Studio as well. Everything is new to me as well. There is just a little bit of documentation from Google about the modern charts. A lot is lacking. You don't know what's happening. But today we will understand what is the, what it does, is it for us, how to enable, how to migrate, etc. The agenda how to enable them. Key differences, modern color palette and themes. We'll see how they work and some tips for migrating your existing reports, especially if you have some critical reports that are already shared with the client, with team members, other departments in your organization. And you want to make sure that during the process of migrating, enabling, upgrading it to the modern job, nothing breaks and everyone has a seamless experience. Okay. So what are the modern charts? Lucre Studio has built-in charts. It has time series, it has tables, pie charts, scorecards, etc. There is a library, a charting library, a charting engine that was used from day one to enable those charts. Think about it like a script library of charts that Lucre Studio used to use. Now, they came up with a better one with some enhancement, with some more flexibility, with some additional configurations for us to adjust and for some features and enhance usability for the viewers of the report, for the audience of our report. This is some before and after. So this is the previous chart when most of us are used to, and this is when we enable modern chart for this time series. This is the same with the power chart. We will see exactly what is different, what has been changed, and how we can use it to enhance our reports. Okay, so let's go to Looker Studio. For this lesson, I use Looker Studio to go to the actual material. But for this same lesson, I couldn't use a single Looker Studio report because modern charts are going to be enabled on the report itself. So it's a report level configuration. Your report is either modern or classic. It's not per chart basis or for the whole of your account. It's on a report per report basis. So to show you classic charts and the modern chart version of the same chart, I had to use what? Two reports. So I have one report with the classic chart version, another report with the modern chart version of the exact same chart, which is over here. And that will go through them one by one. Okay. So these are the things that we're going to cover today. What are they? Enabling them. And then we're going to take a look at the charts that have been impacted most to the least. And finally, we're going to take a look at the color palette and some tips and tricks for migration. Okay. So this is the before and after. This is a classic time series. This is a modern time series. I've seen lots of people are excited about the gradient here, which is nice. I'm excited about it as well, but it's not the only enhancement on this chart and we'll see what else is available for us. Pies, donuts. Yeah, they got some enhancements, some facelifts, which is nice too. I know that many people are against pie chart. I'm okay with them when there is only two three-dimension categories, not much more than that. I prefer a stacked bar charts to pie charts whenever possible, but sometimes I use them. And when you want to use them, you actually want them to look good. So let's talk about enabling modern charts. It's on a report by report basis. For every single report that you create from now on, it's already on a modern chart engine. Okay, so future reports, Anything new is already by default using modern charts and themes and the color palette. But if you have an existing report and a report from before, something that you already shared with the clients or your teams, you need to upgrade it. And you go to the toolbar or the file menu, you go to the theme and layout. There is an option here, modern chart, enable. You click on enable and it will tell you that upgrading a report is not reversible. Are you sure? And you'll think about it. You go talk with someone and then you finally click yes, enable, and then that report will use the modern chart engine. This report right now is using the classic chart engine. Okay. So let's edit it and just go through the process just quickly. 
theme and layout in the toolbar. This is the toolbar. We can see modern chart. We can click enable. I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to cancel it right now. It's as easy, but you have to go report per report and do it map. Okay. So this is enabling modern charts. Now, let's see what modern charts are. What are the differences? And then you can decide whether or not you want to enable it on your previous reports and in which time frame. Okay. So let's start with time series and line charts. These two are one of the most impacted. And visually, you can see the difference.